okay students good morning today we study about optional mathematics from class 8 today is our topic is trigonometry okay let's start from basic things first of all right angle angle This is the right angle triangle ABC in which angle C is theta, which is reference angle. Then the opposite side of theta that is perpendicular, adjacent side of theta that is base, and opposite side of a right angle that is hypotenuse. So, S can be defined as opposite side of opposite side of right angle. And perpendicular P defined as opposite side of Reference angle. And B can be defined as adjacent side of reference angle. Where theta is Adjacent angle P is perpendicular, B is base, and S is hypotenuse. Okay, so in short part, opposite side of reference angle is perpendicular adjacent side of reference angle is base and opposite side of right angle is hypotenuse so in summary we can remember is this opposite of right angle that is hypotenuse opposite of reference angle that is perpendicular adjacent of reference angle that is base <coughs> okay we can remember in circuit after this <coughs> next b six trigonometric ratios Six trigonometric ratios. Number one, sine theta equal to p by x. The sine is short form of S I N sine. Number two, cos theta equal to b by s u s cos that is short form of cosine number three tan theta equal to p by b this tan is the short form of tangent Similarly, number four, cosec theta equal to S by T. This cosec is opposite of sine, reciprocal of sine theta. So, this cosec is short form of cosecant. Number five, 
बराबर फाइव एक थीटा इक्वल टू एस बाय बी द सेकेंड सर्ट पाव ऑफ सेकेंड एंड द लास्ट वन सिक्स रिकॉर्डेड चीज कोट थीटा इक्वल टू बी बाय पी दिस कोट इज सर्ट पाव ऑफ टेंजेंट ओके स्टूडेंट्स दीज आर सिक्स टूमेट्रिक रेसियोज ओके हाउ कैन वी रिमेम्बर दिस सिक्स टूमेट्रिक रेसियो ओके लेटर्स सी द टेक्निक राइट ऑन थ्री ओड्स ऑल्सो बाय फर्स्ट लेटर ऑफ दिस इट गिवस दिकोमेट्रिक रेशियो ऑफ Sin theta, second gives ratio of cos theta, and third gives ratio of tan theta. Now <coughs> remember the words pulsar, bike, pulsar, and upon hero on the bike, which gives first three trigonometric ratios of sin theta, cos theta, and tan theta. Now it's opposite order. Just write in the reverse order. Hero, Honda, bike, open, pulsar, bike, pulsar. Now just mark the first letter of this term. S by P, S by B. B by P. It gives the ratio of remaining three, four, five, and six. This cos theta, this one sec theta, and last one cot theta. So remember the old pulsar by pulsar upon zero hundred by, and its opposite order zero hundred by upon pulsar by pulsar. Okay, in this way. We can remember six trigonometric ratio easily. Okay, I remember the three words: pulsar by pulsar upon zero on the bike, and zero on the bike upon pulsar by pulsar, which gives all six trigonometric ratios. Thus, remember first letter of this code. Okay, students, after this, we go to next level. Okay, these are the basic things in trigonometric topic: the right angle triangle and six trigonometric ratio. Now, let's and see. Reciprocal relations. First one is. Sin theta equal to one by cos theta and cos theta equal to one by sin theta. Here, sin and cos are reciprocal of each other. Therefore, sin theta dot cos theta equal to one. In reciprocal relation, first pair is Sin theta and cos theta. Similarly, number two, cos theta equal to one by sec theta and sec theta equal to one by cos theta. Therefore, cos theta dot 
sec theta equal to 1. Here, cos and sec are reciprocal of each other. Number 3, tan theta equal to 1 by cot theta and cot theta equal to 1 by tan theta. Therefore, tan theta dot cot theta equal to 1. Here, tan theta and cot theta are reciprocal of each other. Now, furthermore, we can write in general sin to the power n theta dot cos to the power n theta equal to 1. The value of n may be any number. For example, sin square theta Sorry, here. Sin to the power n theta dot here of sin is cosec. Cosec to the power n theta equal to 1. Okay. Sin and cosec are reciprocal of each other. In general, sin to the power n theta dot cosec to the power n theta equal to 1. For example, taking n equal to 2. So n equal to 2. Then it becomes sin square theta dot cosec square theta equal to 1. Similarly, it may be sin cube theta dot cos cube theta equal to 1. Okay, it means the value of n may be any positive number. Okay. Now, <coughs> we go to next. Now, next level, this cosine relation. Cosine relation. In cosine relation, we have two relations. First one is tan theta equal to sin theta upon cos theta. Let us prove this. Prove. RHS equal to here RHS equal to sin theta upon cos theta. As we know, the trigonometric ratio of sin theta is d by x. Similarly, trigonometric ratio of cos theta is d by x. This equal to d by x multiplied with x by b. Okay, this d by x. Divide from here multiplication also reverse as by b. So as as cancel remaining part is d by b, which is the ratio of tan theta. So that is our RHS. Therefore, RHS equal to RHS. So we have to remember the cosine relation of tan theta is sin theta upon cos theta. Okay, students, now number two is the question relation. The second one is cot theta equal to cos theta upon sin theta. So, prove here RHS is cos theta upon sin theta. So, trigonometric ratio of cos theta is d by x upon trigonometric ratio of sin theta is d by x this equal to d by x multiply with x by p so this h x we can cancel each other so remaining part is d by p that is trigonometric ratio of cot theta which is l s therefore RHS equal to LHS. So it is proved. Okay, <coughs> students, these are question relation. So in question relation, we need to remember two things. 
the first of all first one is ten tai tozu p by b and second one is forty tai tozu b by sorry ten tai tozu joules sin theta upon cos theta and second question question is second one is cos theta equals to cos theta upon sin theta so in question question the tan and cot are represented in terms of sin and cos the next one is identity relation identity relation so in identity relation we use pythagoras theorem first of all we need pythagoras theorem s square equals to p square plus b square that is pythagoras theorem so by using this pythagoras theorem we can derive the identity relation first is sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 now it's proof here l plus e is sin square theta plus cos square theta this sin square theta since sin theta is e by s so sin square theta is e by s whole square cos theta is b by s so cos square theta is b by s whole square now this is b square upon s square plus b square upon s square after taking s square as lcm then we can write b square plus b square all upon s square but from the pythagoras theorem now s square is equal to sum of b square plus b square so b square plus b square that equal to s square so we get s square upon s square is equal to 1 equal to rss so in this way we can prove the first identity relation sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 similarly in identity relation second one is second one is sec square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1 now it's proof here l plus e is sec square theta minus tan square theta as we know sec theta is s by b so sec square theta is s square by b square minus as we know tan theta is p by b so tan square theta is b square upon b square since denominator is same on both b square b square so after taking on same b square we get s square minus b square all upon b square okay from the pythagoras theorem s square minus b square it becomes b square so b square upon b square this is equal to 1 equal to rss now in identity relation the third part is cos square theta minus cos square theta equal to 1 cos square theta minus cos square theta equal to 1 to prove this let us see its proof here here it just is cos square theta minus cos square theta now cos theta as you know cos theta is s by p so cos square theta is s square upon p square minus as you know cot theta is b by p so cot square theta is b square upon p square denominator are same so taking lcm p square we can write s square minus b square all upon p square Now from the Pythagoras theorem, s square minus b square, s square minus b square equals to p square. So it becomes b square plus p square. That is one. That is, I just. In the 
so in we have three identity relation. First we have sine square theta plus cos square theta, theta equal to 1. Second is sec square theta minus ten square theta equal to 1. Then third one is cos square theta minus cos square theta equal to 1. We can remember this. First we have sine square plus cos square equal to 1. Second, sec square minus ten square equal to one. And third is cos square minus cot square equal to one. Okay, these are three identity relations. First one sin square plus cos square equal to one. Second, sec square minus ten square equal to one. And third, cos square minus cot square equal to one. Okay, in the first, the middle sign is positive, in second and third, the sign is negative. In this way, we can remember identity relation. So, we can summarize identity relation is sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. That is, sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos square theta, therefore, sin theta equal to square root of 1 minus cos square theta. Similarly, cos square theta equal to 1 minus sin square theta, therefore, cos theta equal to square root of 1 minus sin square theta. So, number 2, sec square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1, that is, sec square theta equal to 1 plus tan square theta therefore sec theta equal to square root of 1 plus tan square theta and tan square theta equal to sec square theta minus 1 therefore tan theta equal to square root of sec square theta minus 1 in the third we have cos square theta minus cos square theta equal to 1 that is cos square theta equal to 1 plus cos square theta therefore cos theta equal to square root of 1 plus cos square theta and cos square theta equal to cos square theta minus 1 therefore cot theta equal to square root of cos square theta minus 1 ok <coughs> this the main relation are sin square theta plus cos square theta equal 1 from this we can derive sub relation according to the question <coughs> In the second, sec square theta minus ten square theta equal to one. And what is the required by the question? We can use the sub relation. Sec square theta equal to theta equal to one plus ten square. Therefore, sec theta equal to root under one plus ten square theta. Third one is cos square theta minus cos square theta equal to one. And sub relation we can use as for the question. Okay, students. Now. about trigonometry. So one using the PBS relation prove the following. Using the PBS relations prove the following. Okay, first question of one that is cosec theta multiply sin theta equal to one. Cosec theta multiply sin theta equal to one. 
We have to use the PBR zeros. It means six stoichiometric ratios in terms of PBRs. Now its solution here to prove cos theta multiplied with sin theta equal to one. Now the other case is going to do cos theta multiplied with sin theta. Now we need to use the PBRs form. Six to one ratio, basic things. So cos theta is going to do as by t multiplied by sin theta. It's Ratio is dy. Yeah. So this as as cancel. Remaining part is dy t. That is one. We got to as as. So it is two. Now the second question. B. Tan theta multiplied with cos theta. Tan theta multiplied with Cos theta is equal to one. Solution here to prove tan theta multiplied with cos theta. Tan theta multiplied with cos theta. This is equal to one here sin theta. Okay. Tan theta multiplied with cos theta is equal to sin theta. So we need to prove tan theta multiplied with cos theta is equal to sin theta. Now. Let us equal to two. Ten theta multiplied with cos theta. Now use we have to use PBS form. Let's take the common ratio. So ten theta p by b multiplied by cos theta b by yes. So this b b cancel each other. So remaining part is b by yes. This is the common ratio of sine theta. That is R H S. So Now, <laughs> next question. Video. Next question. C. Let's see. We have cos square theta minus cot square theta equal to one. Cos square theta minus cot square theta equal to one. Now we solve this. Here we have to prove cos square theta minus cot square theta equal to one. Now the other choice is cos square theta minus cot square theta. As we know, cos theta is s by t, so cos square theta is s square upon t square minus As we know, cot theta is b by t, so cot square theta is b square upon t square. Now, after taking LCM, t square, we get s square minus b square all upon t square. <coughs> Now, from the Pythagoras theorem, s square minus b square, it becomes t square upon t square because. <coughs> S square minus B square equal to T square from Pythagoras theorem. So T square upon T square that is one, that is the RHS. So proof. Okay, students. Now next question. Square theta multiplied with ten square theta. Cos square theta multiplied with ten square theta minus sec square theta multiplied with sine square theta. Because one. So make it a solution. Here to prove cos square theta. Multiply with ten square theta minus six square theta multiply with sine square theta equal to one. 
Now, Galantius is a six square theta multiplied with ten x square theta minus six x square theta multiplied with sine square theta. <coughs> now we need to use PBR form so cos square theta. Since cos theta is as by this, so cos square theta is as this part of t square. And t square theta is t square upon b square minus sec theta is as by b. So sec square theta is as square upon b square. And sin square theta is t square upon s square. Now here p square p square cancel each other. S square s square cancel each other. The remaining part is this s square upon b square minus t square upon b square. S square upon b square that is since s by b that is sec theta. So s square upon b square is so <coughs> we can take LCM b square b square is same so remember same LCM then it becomes s square minus t square all upon b square. Now from the Pythagoras theorem, s square minus t square that is b square. So b square over b square equals what? Because s square minus t square equals to b square from Pythagoras theorem. So this equals RHS. Okay, today is now. We go to the next question. Question number two. Prove the following trigonometric identities. Prove the Following trigonometric identities. <coughs> now, first question is sin a dot cot a equals to cos a. Sin a dot cot a equals to cos a. Now, in this question, we can use other relation except the six trigonometric basis in terms of PPS. Question here to prove sin a dot cot a equal to cos a. Now, calculus is sin a dot cot a sin a so this cot a the concentration of cot a its concentration is cos a upon sin a with the concentration as we know cot theta equal to cos theta upon sin theta ok <coughs> Question relation in terms of theta angle, but here angle is a, so what a is equal to cos a by sin a. Now sin a sin a cancel each other, remaining part is cos a, which is the required RFS. Now we get second question from two sin a dot sec a dot cot a equal to 1, sin a dot sec a dot cot a dot 1. Now to get its solution. Solution here. We have to prove sin a dot sec a dot cot a equal to 1. Now LHS is sin a dot sec a dot cot a. Now, sin a 
all things, all the two, sin, sin of the sine cos. So sine is same, sine is. Sec A, its reciprocal relation is 1 by cos A. Third, cot A, its cosine relation is cos A upon sine A. So this sine sine cancel each other and cos cos cancel. Remaining is 1. So that is RSS. Okay, students. Now we go to the next question. Question number two. C. Okay, now we see. We have ten square a equal to sine a dot sec a sine a dot sec a. What well, happened? Kaseke dot Kaseke. Kaseke dot Kaseke. Now, if so, sir. Here, we have to prove n square a equal to sine a dot Kaseke. What well, happened? Kaseke dot Kaseke. Now, here we can start from the RHS. Okay, complex to symbol. So, start from the RHS. RHS is sine a dot sec a goes upon cos a dot cos a. Now, convert all trigonometric ratio in terms of sine cos. So, sine a is same, sec a that is 1 by cos a. Using the ratio of the person, cos a that is 1 by sine a and cos a that is same. So this is equal to sine a upon cos a whole upon cos a upon sine a. Now this is equal to sine a upon cos a. This derivative fraction, right, in convection form, this is reverse. It becomes reverse, so sine a upon cos a. Sine multiplied with sine, it becomes sine square a. Cos multiplied with cos, it becomes cos square a. So sine square a upon cos square. Since sine by cos is 10, so sine square upon cos square is sine square a. So that is. Just hmm. okay, students. Now we go to next question. Question number D from two. And here we have sine square a minus cos square a. Sin square a minus cos square a equal to 1 minus 2 cos square a. Now it's solve sum to get here. We need to prove sin square a minus cos square a equal to 1 minus 2 cos square a. Now we can start from LHS or RHS. Now here. We start from LHS. LHS is sin square a minus cos square a. On the RHS, we can see cos is square form. So we have to change this sin square a in terms of cos square a. So sin square a equal to 1 minus cos square a minus cos square a because sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos square theta. We know this relation from I is this relation. So minus cos square minus cos square. So adding together 1 minus 2 cos square a, which is the required RHS. So we can write proof. Now our next question is 
10 square beta plus cosec square beta 10 square beta plus cosec square beta equal to sec square beta plus cosec square beta sec square beta plus cosec square beta now the get its solution here we need to prove 10 square beta plus cos square beta equal to sec square beta plus cos square beta. In this question, we can start from the other just a lapis <coughs> from any side. Now, we do this question <coughs> from RHS. Now, RHS equal to sec square beta plus Square beta. Now, sec square in terms of 10 square, that is sec square theta equal 1 plus 10 square beta. So, sec square beta is 1 plus 10 square beta plus cot square beta in terms of cos square beta, that is cos square beta minus 1. This is equal to Positive one, negative one cancel. The many part is ten square beta plus cos square beta. So the RHS proof. Here we use the formula of sec square beta equal to one plus ten square beta and cot square beta equal to cos square beta minus 1. This is both from identity relation. Okay, students, now we go to <coughs> next question. Question number 2, yeah. Uh, we have we have to prove second part cot theta minus second square theta equal to second part cot theta plus ten square theta. Okay. Now. <coughs> Also, here we need to prove sec theta bar four theta minus sec square theta equal to ten theta bar four theta minus ten square theta. Now we start from L S S. Sec theta bar four theta minus sec square theta. Now, sec to the power 4 theta, that is sec square theta, but that is sec square theta. So, from two terms, we can take common sec square theta. Now, remaining part is sec square theta minus 1. Now, we get this, this outside sec square theta in terms of 10, since RHS is in terms of 10. So, sec square theta is equal to 1 plus 10 square theta. And we can bracket sec square theta minus 1. Again, this sec square theta minus 1 change in terms of m. So, this is equal to 10 square theta. Now, what by each other? <coughs> 1 multiplied with 10 square theta. It becomes 10 square theta plus 10 square theta multiplied with 10 square theta. That is 10 to the power 4 theta. So, 10 to the power 4 theta plus 10 square theta. So, to RHS proof. Okay, in this question, <coughs> sec square theta change into in terms of 10 square theta. So, sec square theta equal 1 plus 10 square theta. Again, within bracket, sec square theta minus 1. In terms of 10, that is 10 square theta. Now, 
We go to the next question. Question number D. On D we have to prove sin square minus sin square D equal to cos square D minus cos square A. Square B minus plus square A. Now if solution here we need to prove sin square A minus sin square B equal to cos square B minus plus square A. Here on the other test this A in terms of sin square, on the other test A is in terms of Square. Similarly, in the letter just B in terms of sine square, on the letter B in terms of cos square. So we can change the ratio. Now we can start from any side. Now we start here from the other test. The other test is sine square A minus sine square B. This sine square A in terms of cos square, that is 1 minus cos square A. Changing sin square in terms of cos square minus sin square b. This b in terms of cos square. Sin square in terms of cos square. That is again 1 minus cos square b. This point sign is negative, so we use the bracket. Now, next step 1 minus cos square a. This is same. This open this y minus sign. Minus multiply with 1, minus 1. Minus multiply with minus cos square b. So minus multiply with minus it makes plus. So plus cos square b. Now this negative one, positive one, this cancel each other. The remaining part is cos square b, positive writing first, then minus negative cos square a. Cos square b minus cos square a, which is the required RHS. So we can write proof. Now Go to the next question. Question? Yes. On yes, we have to do sin A times the square root of 1 minus cos square A. Sin A times the square root of 1 minus cos square A plus cos A times the square root of 1 minus sin square A. This equals to 1. Now, if solution here, we have to prove sin A times square root of 1 minus cos square a plus cos a times square root of 1 minus sin square a this equal to 1. Now in this question we can start from LHS. LHS is sin a times square root of 1 minus cos square a plus cos a times square root of 1 minus Sine square a. This equals to sine a. Now from the identification we know 1 minus cos square a. That is sine square a. And if square root is sine a. So sine a. Square root of 1 minus cos square a is sine a. Plus cos a times square root of 1 minus sine square a. That is cos a. Because sin theta equal to root 1 minus cos square theta and cos theta equal to root 1 minus sin square theta. <coughs> now sin a times sin a, it makes sin square a plus cos a multiplied with cos a, it makes cos square a. So sin square a plus cos square a, from the identification, that is equal to 1. We go to RHS. Okay.
Okay students, this was for today. Have a nice time. See you soon.